Michelle Leo Sales Function Dogs in Houston. Today I'm going to show you how we do quality control here. We will get orders from customer. We would first confirm the quality and packing with them, and then we we'll put everything in the paper uh, like this, and we pass it to our QC manager, Mirror. Mirror has rich experience and knowledge in Mabel and has been monitoring our three point inspection system strictly for eight years, which is why our products outstand in the business. Because of the responsible attitude from Mirror and her team, every piece from Century is a work of art enjoyed by customers. Our first inspection is about your material. According to different designs and customers' requests, Mirror select blocks and slabs with suitable colors and veins to increase the yield and avoid waste. The second inspection is monitoring the whole process during cutting and mounting. The machine to cut blocks and slabs into chips is operated by experienced workers so that they could work on the machine at the maximum efficiency and accuracy. They were also required to separate the qualified and unqualified chips on site so that the defective chips won't get on next production line and waste more sources. Before the chips are mounted, the workers need to be well aware of the standards, so our QC elaborate to them clearly about which chips are okay, which are not, what sort of problems to be avoided, and how to match the colors, etc. But no matter cutting or mounting, our QC crews always hang around and casually check in the status of production and monitor the workers to carry out what they were told to. The third inspection is checking piece by piece of finished products according to the paper I passed to Mira earlier. If there's any problem in a piece like chips with wild color or chipping or wrong face or uneven gaps or anything discrepant to the paper, that piece won't be packed till revised. Besides that, this inspection also guarantees consistent color, at least within one palette, since we can't avoid color difference for natural marbles and stones. After this, the crew put several pieces together and take photos for record, take two sealed samples as reference for future orders, and fill up the QC sheet to sales, which will be used for QC report after. To avoid breakage and dispute over problems caused during shipping, we do our best to strengthen the parking that we could afford and consider for the customers. We put plastic films between sheets to avoid scratches, labels on each box for easy recognition, detailed shipping mark on each pallet for convenient warehousing, and no extra room in crate or box as they were made according to the size of product and tie them together with bind and stable. For extremely large tiles, we even use leather bands. After this, our QC crews could step on the crates. But it is not over yet. The crates also need to be fixed inside the container to avoid shaking, so they need to be well arranged and sometimes using metal wire to tie them together. Then the container could be sealed and shipped out while our QC crews get back to sales with detailed loading photos. Using those photos and the QC sheet, our sales make a QC report and send to our customer to know the quality prior to the goods arrives. Now is our quality control transparent to you? Even if you are on the other side of the earth, your goods are in good hands. Bye-bye.